Welcome to Jade Learning. My name is Jeff Simpson, and today we're talking about electrical penetrations through rated firewalls. Anytime our wiring methods or junction boxes penetrate a rated firewall, we have to seal our electrical penetration in accordance with section 300.21 in order to maintain that resistive rating of that firewall. Here's what the code says. Openings around electrical penetrations into or through fire resistant rated walls, partitions, floors, or ceilings shall be fire stopped using an approved method to maintain the fire resistive rating. This is what we're talking about. Those penetrations through that rated wall. Those raceways have to be sealed appropriately so that we maintain the fire resistive rating of the wall. In the International Building Code, in section 714.3.2, it talks about membrane penetrations of steel electrical boxes through those rated walls. A membrane penetration occurs when we penetrate one side of that firewall. Boxes on opposite sides of the firewall shall be separated by one of the following. Okay, We're talking about this, boxes on opposite sides of a common firewall, just like in the picture. We've got boxes that are back to back in that firewall. Each of those is a membrane penetration. They have to be separated by one of the following means. Either by a horizontal distance of no less than 24 inches, just like this, 24 inches minimum between those boxes in that common staggered stud firewall. Or, by a horizontal distance of no less than the depth of the wall cavity if the wall cavity is filled with cellulose loose fill, rock wool, or slag mineral wool insulation. This is where it's really important to get familiar with the types of insulation and get into those plans and find out what's going to be going into that wall. We can also use solid fire blocking in accordance with section 718.2.1 of the IBC. Here's what we're talking about. Maybe it's an apartment complex with dwelling units that are separated by a common firewall, or maybe it's a commercial occupancy where you have different types of occupancies on each side of a common demising wall that has a fire rating. In this instance, we have communication through those horizontal spaces between that staggered stud construction. And what you would have to do is use solid fire blocking to close off the communication horizontally between those stud bays. Or, we can use listed putty pads on both junction boxes, just like this one here. A listed putty pad, it fully encompasses that entire junction box, leaving no openings. So have a look here. In the event that our junction boxes had to be closer than 24 inches back to back in that common firewall, you could use listed putty pads on those boxes to completely close off those openings or other listed materials and methods. Now let's talk about membrane penetrations in that rated wall when we're using listed electrical boxes of any material, not just steel, like this one in the picture. Or maybe this one here that happens to be used in this common party wall separating dwelling unit occupancies in an apartment complex. A lot of people seem to think that just because this box is listed and has a two hour rating, that no additional protection methods are required. You can just install the box in the wall back to back horizontally within 24 inches of another one in that same common party wall without having to use a putty pad. But let's look a little bit closer here at this listing right here. This junction box is classified by UL with a two hour rating for wall or ceiling assemblies. Anytime a product is classified, it means that it is meant for a specific purpose or to be installed in a certain way. You would have to look at the installation instructions for this particular junction box to find out if it can even be used in staggered stud firewall construction just like this one within 24 inches of another junction box back to back. It may not be able to be used at all in this type of wall configuration. Check the installation instructions. Okay, so what else can we do for plastic boxes? Back-to-back -back boxes on opposite sides of a firewall shall be separated by one of the following. Horizontal distance of no less than 24 inches, just like we saw previously. We can also use solid fire blocking in accordance with 718.2.1. 
protecting both boxes with listed putty pads or other listed materials and methods. Okay, to make a long story short, make sure you know where your firewalls are on the job or if there are any at all. If you need to penetrate a firewall, be careful with the kind of wiring methods you're going to use. Make sure you know about those horizontal separation requirements. Make sure you use listed products if you have to seal a junction box or a penetration as it goes through a rated assembly. Have a good day. Thanks for watching and be safe. Thank you.